This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome everyone. We continue in the Archais Chaim of the Rush. We are closing in on the uh, conclusion of the main body of the Archais Chaim of the Rush. We now are up to Ois Kuv Chavav. Al Tidaber Beloyitai. Do not speak, not at the appropriate time. Don't speak something that has no benefit. Ushemar Pischei Picha. Guard the entrance of your mouth. Now this is very interesting. Don't speak not at the right time. The Pasuk says in Mishlei, Simcha lo'ish b'ma'ane piv v'davar b'yitoi matoiv. Davar b'yitoi matoiv. The Medrash says in the Yalkut, anyone who says a Pasuk at the right time, he brings good to the world. So it's always appropriate to have the right word to say. When you say the right words at the right time, it's a davar toiv. But if it's not the right time, Sometimes people are in a shiva house and they start reminiscing about the good old days, which is really irrelevant, nonsensical chatter. You can't talk about dvarim that are not relevant to the mess. So a person always has to know the appropriate topic at the appropriate time. One has to speak about, don't say things that have no toyalas. First of all, the Gemara Nivama says, Samachay Ahmed Beis of Goldberg quotes, just like there's a mitzvah to say something that will be listened to, there is likewise a mitzvah not to say something that won't be listened to. But Rav Goldberg says that simply what the rush means, something that doesn't have a tailus, it doesn't just mean don't give someone musr if it won't have any benefit. It also means don't discuss things that are of no benefit. Does anybody know how many games are the Yankees in first place? What's their magic number? What's that going to do for anybody? What difference does it make? And if they get, if they're not too many games ahead of in first place, they'll buy another player for another $30 million and they'll make sure they get into first place. So it's not really a conversation as a Toyos. Yeah, but what if uh, my friend, he's down and I see that he needs to just schmooze around a little bit. Well, that might be considered a conversation that has a toyalis. But in general, don't speak about things that have no benefit. By the way, the Rush said earlier in Ois Lamed, Rev Goldberg refers to, that V'yekel be'einecha hitzoas mamoincha me'atzoas dvarecha. It should be easier for you to spend money than to say a word. How do you like that? The Rosh said, V'dvarecha b'moiz night tzedek tishkoel. Weigh your words on a scale. V'hin tzedek yelecha. Your yes should be righteous. And it should be easier for you to spend your money than to say a word. You know how it is. You go to the store and you're like, should I buy that? Do we really need it? We just got some, maybe we could, we could uh, wait another month before we buy that. People are second guess before they spend money. Especially when your wife says, should I buy that? Then you really second guess. So it should be much easier to allow someone to spend money than to say a word. And if you're going to say something harsh, you better weigh it very, very well. And therefore, um, guard ushmar pischei picha. Guard the entrance of your mouth. Now the Gra writes in his letter that a person should endure difficulty not by fasting, but by silencing oneself. And that is tshuva. Part of teshuva is quiet, and that is the a lot of one's reward in the world to come, the ability to rein in one's words. As the Gra famously quotes, You're sitting at a chuppah. What do I do? I'm, I'm bored, I have nothing to do. Well, you should have brought a little 
copy of your Gemara with you to review. And if you didn't do that, you know what you could do? You could practice the great accomplishment of not talking. You know how productive you could be at that chuppah? For the 30 minutes of that chuppah, you could amass the great accomplishment of not talking. You're sitting around the table. What do I do? Uh, this is so unproductive. No, it's very productive. What, but what am I producing? The Rambam says, Lo'olam yar be'odam b'shasika. person should always produce a lot of silence. Silence is an accomplishment. What did I do? I look back on the day. What did I do? If you didn't talk a lot, it was a good day. Rav Goldberg cites the Sefer Nesivo Isar that Rav Yitzel Petterberg said about Rav Yisrael Salanter that his vigilance against Lashon Hara was exceptional. Even though he was very mu'urav in Abriyos, but he was very careful from Dvarim Batalim. One time he rebuked one of his relatives and he said, on Lush, you know, there's a concept, who are you to tell me what to do? Maybe you have the same fault that I have. So if you saw Salanti would say, on Lush and Hara, you can't tell me, who am I to tell you? You know how careful I am in Lashon Hara. Uchimeduma, and I think, says Rabbi Yisrael, Gamal Dvarim Betelem. I think, even regarding extra chatter, you could probably also be confident that you can't say to me, who am I? Because you know, you know I don't say an extra word. And Rabbi Goldberg cites the Bnei Yisachar. In the Sefer Darach Pikudecha, on the Pasuk, Navshi Yatsa Bedabroi, that there in fact is a allotment and a cap of how many words a person is given in their lifetime, Shaloi B'makoi Mitzvah, and if a person talks too much, Shaloi B'makoi Mitzvah, he actually takes away from one's lifetime. I actually once found that in the writings of the Chida, quoting Reb Chaim Vital. And in the Hagois of the Bnei Yisachar, he brings, in the name of a Medrash, that when a person thinks, when a person is thought to be created, they decree on him how many words he will say. And interestingly, the Chida says, and I don't know how this fits into conventional and modern science, because we know that women have a longer life expectancy than men, but the Chida writes that the reason why women, I guess in his times, had a shorter life expectancy is because they talk more. As the Gemara says, nine measurements of speech came, ten measurements of speech came down to the world, women took nine of them. If you say this is not politically correct, I am unapologetic. I'm just, I can only tell you what Chazal say. I can't do better than that. Chazal say that women have, are more inclined to speaking, so what does that say about the fact that nowadays women live longer than men? Maybe, maybe you could say as follows. Women have been given greater capacity to speak than men. And therefore, it is easier for men not to talk than it is for women not to talk. So if you see that men have a shorter life expectancy today than women do, it's because women are doing a much better job in accordance with their ability than men are. That means men are today not doing a great job relative to women in curtailing their kayach adibor. Anyway, um, let us read one more ice. Ois kuf chav zayin. Al tedaber em mehulal umeshuga. Don't speak with a crazy person. Shelo yikabel dvarecha. They're not going to accept what you, what you say. V'yavaze oisam. They're just going to uh, disgrace you. Now, this has many meanings. I'll tell you one of them. If somebody asks you something and you can't do it or you don't want to do it, never tell them why. Never say why. The worst thing you could say, do is give a reason why you're not doing something if you've decided not to do it. Because they're just, oh, that's the reason? Oh, but I'll do, but, but, but I'll address that. So you don't give a reason. It's a chayk. Why? I have uh, my reason. I can't say. Um... But the Russia is saying, don't get involved in conversation with a crazy person. Because they won't accept what you say. Unless you're a therapist, and you've been trained to deal with insanity, 
which it's a good thing to know how to deal with because it's a very useful thing to know because uh, it could happen, you may meet a few people like that. But unless a person is specifically trained, don't get involved in long conversation or in shakla uh, vitaria with people who are crazy. And it will just lead to you being shamed. It will just be, lead to them uh, stirring the pot and it will not lead to anything good. Now it's interesting because earlier on the rush said in Ois Kofhei, Al Tischaber im Kesil Pantavai Klima Islecha. Don't be a friend with a fool. Al Tischaber la Adam Rav Echoite Vikasan Uksil. Don't be a friend with a bad person, a sinner an angry person, a fool, it would just bring you shame. But here it's saying, I'm not their friend. Don't even get involved in conversation. Shake their hand, smile at them, give them a pat on the back, be courteous, and get away as fast as you can. It's not worth anybody's time. It's just going to lead to difficulty. Marav Rabbi say, we'll see you all tomorrow at Ois Kuv Chav Ches. Have a wonderful day. Brach Vatzlacha. Kol Tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.